Hi everyone, this is I for this topic. I will talk about Delta ASPOC first output function for incremental and the absolute uh, position control. You can see the system architecture. This one is actually same as uh, what we introduced in last topic for the zero return or homing. So in this topic, we will do the positioning control by uh, Y0.0 and Y0.1. Come to uh, absolute and incremental position control. So we will use the different uh, instruction API. For API DDRVI, that means for incremental. And DDRVI means uh, absolute position control. You can see the symbol for S1 means uh, target position. S2 means target frequency. D1 means uh, output, uh, bus output. D2 means uh, bus direction. And we already defined in uh, uh, Y0.0 and Y0.1. Uh, come to the difference between incremental and absolute. Incremental is basically based on the current position. So the example here, uh, we give the uh, 3,000 pulses. So it will add the 3,000 pulses uh, based on current position. And then if we want to go back, we use a minus uh, 3,000 pulses. Come to absolute uh, position control, it will always uh, refer to the zero point. So for example, if we give uh, 3000 pulse, then you will move uh, to absolute position 3000. And if we want to go back to the uh, zero position or the current reference position, we give uh, zero. And here you can find, we can also define the start and the stop of frequency in special register 463 and you can also define the rain up time and rain down time in a uh, special register for uh, 64 and 65 then we can come to the program and this one is uh, exactly the uh, same as what I introduced in the previous to uh, topic for the zero return so now we uh, download program and data switch online. Okay, now we switch online. So first of all, we still define the uh, frequency. Here we define uh, 100K again. Then for the job frequency, we define 10K. And then we can trigger the home homing. Okay, so once you see a uh, spatial register for 60 becomes zero, that means uh, the homing process is done. Then we can uh, enable the scope. And again, we uh, run the scope. Uh, back to the program and first we try with the uh, incremental so we define the target position 200k and we define the target frequency also 200k then we can uh, execute okay here we uh, set off uh, a special flag uh, for uh, 61 First, then we can uh, execute this one. So you will see it move to uh, incremental of 2000. And then we change the position back to zero and move in a uh, control in absolute. So you will see back to zero. And then we can change the to minus 200K. And then we can check uh, from the scope. Uh, here we remove. Uh, so here you can see at the beginning, uh, the reference we consider zero, then it will become uh, 200K, then uh, become zero again and move to minus 
200k. Uh, one more thing I want to emphasize here, as you can see, the uh, feedback position is actually not the uh, minus 200k. This one is because uh, the reference position is based on POC instead of servo. And then we can move back. So here you can see the speed is uh, one, uh, 120 RPM. Then become minus 120. Uh, no matter is a uh, uh, 120 or minus 120 is uh, from the uh, target frequency over here. And if you want to know more uh, detail about the spatial register or spatial flag, you can refer our uh, user manual in uh, chapter six for the DDRVI. So you can see much more information over here. So that's all for this topic. Thank you.